Hello guys, I want to introduce you to a new tool I have written which uh, adds some functionality to the Adobe Illustrator which I found lacking. So let's let's try to run it. So in essence these are three tools, spots, lines and mosaic. Spots are most straightforward, so let's let's try creating. As you see it basically analyzes underlying image and then adds dots on the on the top now it, by default it just creates rectangles but it has a secret mode which you can use so basically you have to create any object it can be any object uh, as you have said some color to it and uh, now as soon as long as it's selected and these are spots which I press generate it should use this uh, this dot as a, as a base to generate this pattern uh, another uh, not so obvious uh, hidden a hidden spot generating feature is you can take an existing grid and work with that okay let's uh, let's generate uh, default grid and show the grid so and let's select the text with this and i will rotate it to my point to be clear so as long as we select uh, a grid of objects and uh, we have underlying image and the click generate a script will use instead of default square dot it will use the existing grid so let's try how it goes okay will not happen anything because our settings our scale are set to zero so let's put it to 100 and let's generate again okay as you see it used existing underlying grid and and adjusted its properties so in a sense we can take anything we can uh, take a squiggle and uh, select it and click generate and it will generate normal squiggles uh, now uh, these settings uh, contrast will tell how how much stronger how much uh, how much uh, stronger each pixel will affect uh, will affect uh, the vector uh, resolution is how much how much uh, basically how much uh, resolution we want to keep in uh, in image it suggested it to give to to keep its number small because it can add quite a bit of uh, overhead but let's try it so as you see i increased the resolution to fold and it reanalyzed image and it generates uh, spots again as you see it looks quite okay now uh, let's move to another functionality this is uh, this is more interesting these are lines again let's try to generate it uh, without anything selected and uh, now okay now it's a bit uh, thickness is a bit too high or so let's decrease it a little and generate again as you see so how it works is basically by default it generates a line grid and then adjusts each lines uh, it breaks into small lines and adjusts each lines thickness by underlying image now again uh, it has some not so obvious mode where you can uh, uh, you can select uh, select the existing uh, object i will show you real quick and uh, okay let's see if it takes this right 
great take the blend either break it apart and uh, let's put it on the, our image now uh, it can be anything I'm just using this blend because it's uh, it's fast to produce but uh, uh, so you basically uh, select the group you have to select the group and you run the generate now what happens um, is um, is because a script does not um, it uses it does not uh, uh, okay it does not uh, recognize the z curves it works only the straight curves so the way to solve it is to take this and uh, add more accuracy accuracy is as much as uh, accuracy is how many times we will break the existing curve to add additional points so let's let's increase that a little it's it's rather expensive operation so it's best to keep it low but at least case we need it so let's go how it goes as you see it added additional points and and generated our image as you see it looks much better it still still has not the best accuracy and uh, probably should increase it a bit as well okay so every every time script generates new layer so you're not losing anything so increase accuracy a bit more and let's click and increase smoothing so let's see what we get and smoothing now is way too big but now we get what we need probably should decrease smoothing a little but uh, this can be in some certain scenarios this can be used already so as you see there is no there is no there is all 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 information is written into vector okay so and uh, and the last one is mosaic let's let's try this and uh, that okay let's hide this and hide this also and let's show this again and it's by sense it's it's probably most uh, complex to explain but it's not that difficult i will decrease the resolution a bit so we can make everything faster so how it works it, uh, now this and I will use invert curves again so it's probably not very accurate okay it looks much better so in a sense it works a little similar as spots but instead of changing scale or rotation of the spot it uses a mosaic pattern and uses mosaic in such a such a way but it takes this um, group it generated by default on the it's called mosaic cell and it this is used for lighter spot so this is used for the darker this is for darkest so in a sense you can you can create your own mosaic spot so let's try it really quickly so okay not not good i have as long it, it has to be called mosaic cell so now okay let's let's try this 
Okay, English for 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 this particular thing, I just uh, I just try to do very simple and quick. So let's delete this, right? And let's delete this a bit more. And let's delete so. So we have this uh, a moon pattern. So we let's delete all all of that and let's change the color to another color. Right? Yeah. Okay. And uh, as long it has to be to be in mosaic cell layer and in mosaic cell. Okay. And let's click generate. see now it uses instead of that mosaic it uses this it is our custom thing uh, to be to get better results it should be a bit uh, bigger set but in a sense it works like this also you can add alternating uh, so it, it moves moves a little so we have that better so that's it i mean and uh, i hope you enjoy it and hope you make make that finish clear and hope this tool is useful for you thanks